Um, yes, I was wondering if I could, um, get some information, maybe talk to, uh, Victims of Crime Unit. Okay, let me transfer you to that department. One moment. Yeah, I can barely hear you. Can you speak louder? Okay, and Halika. Um, I was wondering if you could check on something for me. Of course. What do, you, um, what do you need? Okay, so I need a few things. I need you to check a case. Um, to 2020 CV 1143. Um, it was... <clears throat> a restrainer was illegally filed against me from Durgan uh, for my free speech after reporting the crimes of a Capitol employee that has harassed me for years and seeks to cover my rapist perpetrators that I reported on Megan's Law and that are in a bunch of my lawsuits. And um, I have SSDI disability for PTSD for being a victims of crime survivor. I was wondering if you could check on that for me. I'm sorry, you say again? When did this incident happen? Oh, uh, well, last year. Um, I've been trying to get it dropped ever since, but I'm trying to get uh, disability advocates to help me. And, you know, it, it's, it's been challenging because, you know, uh, this person knows a bunch of uh, cops and you know, organized crime type of scenario. She's had family that's done drugs that were trafficking with my old neighbors that are related to cops that have been sued from uh, black people for uh, police brutality. And, you know, so, I mean, it's like extensive. Um, uh, it's extensive corruption on their part. So uh, it happened September the third of last year. I'm sorry to answer your question. And what is your name? What's that? I can barely hear you. What is your name? Tanya McDaniel. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find something. Sure. Seven thirty one. Thank you. Right, so... I can also refer you over to legal services and... Um, 
Um, right. You can reach out to them. That's sure. Yolo, I'm sorry, in uh, Woodland. Right. So because it's a civil harassment restraining order of five years, I just watched Dan Walk put a restraining order against a rapist for only six months. And this person has terrorized me in my community, but because she and has a criminal history, but because she has she has connections and works at the state capitol for a woman that is related to Kamala Harris. I would advise you to reach out to uh, law enforcement and if you have any Yeah, I know, but I have lawsuits against them. I you know that have spanned for years. They're not helping me. They're friends with with uh, Durgan. And they've harassed me with media with her and creating like a whole hate crime scenario of you know, harassing me with local media and, and Sacramento TV media. Um, is there any, is, when you look at my name, is there anything that shows of them even trying to investigate me or doing anything like that? Because, you know, I know that these assholes want to try to, you know, create this narrative, you know, to cover their, their monsters that are torturing me so that they can, incriminate my free speech and tell lies about me and I've never had a felony I've never had a 5150 and I've never been jailed and I'm the victims of crime survivor of rape and incest rape NFL abuse from retired Raider Lester Hayes who I'm also currently suing right now along with Durgan and the county and and I'm a survivor of Davis police brutality for risking my life for my black ex-boyfriend some years ago and they're friends with the Capitol employee and their families were doing drugs they with my old neighbors many years ago and you know she moved to my mom's government had housing where I know you have a, a Nunez of a fair housing that is completely um, in favor of, of that type of thing and she doesn't even qualify for HUD subsidy and my mom is on disability and she moved to my mom's apartments to harass me for years and I'm my mom's caregiver i mean this is this type of hate crime is really bad and i and i know like as a victims of crime unit that there's got to be something somebody in your unit that can say yes i can help you i can help you obtain an attorney i can help you um and not from not from yolo county uh, people that, you know, are, they don't help, you know, at the Northern Legal Aid. I've already talked to them a bunch of times, and, and they really don't. They don't help with this type of thing. And I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I, right. I you know, and... So it, office, our, our attorneys are in our office only. Huh? Criminal. I can I can barely hear you. I'm sorry. Could you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Well, perfect, because they're making crimes against me. They're terrorizing me. So the first thing you need to do is report that to law enforcement. Yeah, but that's... Because we need to receive a report from law enforcement to move forward with proceedings. Well, how do I do that in a town that commits crimes against me and organized crimes? How do I do that when they're all friends and they're all collaborating to terrorize me? Huh? Where do you live? I live in Davis. You live in Davis, okay. Have you tried contacting the Davis Police Department? I've I've already put lawsuits against them. There's no way they're going to help me. They're in cahoots with Durgan. That also lives in Davis. You know, I mean, they're where where can I go in my town, my community, my world? Where anybody gives a shit about me and they've all made a lawless team game made from terrorizing me and promoting cops families to the NFL and and promoting the Figueroa's families that are related to you know all of this drama to you know to try to be famous people and 
in the music industry when they all belong behind prison bars. You know, they're related to Enrique and Jesus Campos that killed a Jewish woman and a black teen. Nobody gives a shit about any of that. Nobody cares about any of their corruption. They've got the media covering their ass. They've got, you know, these dick-ass celebrities that don't give a shit about the law or human rights. I mean, uh, truly, their BLM is a hoax, you know, just supporting, you know, causes that only promote that black people get more money in their community. It's just so many things that are, and I'm talking to you like like as if you could help me. And I know that that you either can but won't or I don't know. And I'm just I'm just trying to document everything because I'm just like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Nobody nobody helps defend my rights. I call I call the advocates for Huh? Yes, I did speak to you before, and yes, you did provide that same information, and yes, I did call them, and they were not able to help me, you know, um, so, it kind of makes me feel like, well, it doesn't make me feel, it's, I am, I, I'm, I'm alone in this, you know, I've already filed a lawsuit, you know, against, uh, Durgan and, and the county and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, just like I said, but, you know, how, what can I do currently to help protect my rights? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm blacklisted. I don't feel like I can go anywhere in my town. You know, my mom needs me to help her go grocery shopping because she suffers with mobility issues. I'm not able to go do that because of all these hate crimes that happened to me in my town. I'm not able to go anywhere. You know, I, I'm being blacklisted, discriminated against from housing rights. When your Nunez, a D at the, your DA, she does fair housing, but she is in total favor of of the compost and and you know. I, I don't mean to sound however you, you may view it, but, you know, we have a homeless crisis right now amongst uh, the majority are white Americans because, you know, of this fair housing that is completely pushing that DACA and illegals take about 80% of government housing. And when we're allowing government workers in to take subsidies, that are in support of that uh, movement, it's causing a homeless crisis. But oh no, for me and my political views, that I should also get punished for that in my United States? I mean, that's bullshit. You know, if we were to send a bunch of white people to Mexico to fuck all the homeless, all the poverty people there and take them out of their homes and take over their government and take everything that they got, there would be a war immediately. And nobody would question that. Everybody would be like, oh my God, look what they're doing to all these Mexican people in their own fucking country. Everybody would be screaming and hella pissed off. But nobody gives a shit about this crisis, not even Gavin Newsom, who pretends to care about the homeless crisis. I know I'm ranting. I get it. But I'm everything that I'm talking about affects my life personally. You know, and I'm multiracial, but also white and look white. And I'm also Jewish DNA. And the Figueroa's family are members of the Davis racist Islamic Center that went national for Jew-hating crimes. And nobody gives a shit about that either. You know, a bunch of cops support um, that church. And, you know, I mean, they mocked my father, my stepfather dying at the Davis convalescent where they hired a shitload of riffraff connected to these cops in my community that are friends with Durgan. And then after he died, they mocked his death 
on Good Day Sacramento talking about, oh yeah, you better keep your elderly hydrated, you know, and they, they mocked him being dying and then killing him. And the hate crimes that they put against them, they put him in a Nazi sweatshirt because I'm Jewish. They put his name in pink paper with arrows everywhere leading to his his bedroom when he had dementia in this pink coat of perversion. He was a lawful person. And that's their way of harassing me because I'm a survivor of violent crimes, survivor of rape and incest rape. And, you know, they did all kinds of shit to be harassing to me every time I'd go there. And, you know, and there's nobody that I can call to say, you know, help me with this. Nobody. Yeah, of course, because you're victims of crime unit. You're supposed to be helping me. That's ridiculous. Yeah, legal services doesn't do this type of intense shit. They, they're not helping with this. I mean, they, they won't even help with housing stuff that they're like, oh, yeah, we could, maybe we could do this. I don't know about that. And then they string my ass along for months and then don't help me with anything. You know, I don't know who's funding all of these programs, but they're not helping the demographic in the community that they need to be helping. That are taxpayers. I'm on disability, but I pay taxes in my community, in my county for all this fucking bullshit. I pay taxes into HUD housing and I'm discriminated. I pay taxes for fucking asshole cops that torture me and have an asshole in a caboose that puts voodoo on me in a train in Davis and they've got satellites spying everywhere and terrorizing me and doing MK Ultra and psychological warfare. And I'm paying for this with my tax dollar? And they use their brotherhood of sirens to communicate to their assholes that harass me and then to pump them to keep running after their dreams, which is preposterous. It's just their other method of 14 years of the lawless team game made from terrorizing me and chasing after my music dreams and poetry. Amanda Gorman's Got Cop Family. All of this. All of this is a ranting mess, and all of it's 100,000% accurate and relevant. And nobody helps me. Nobody helps me with any of it. I don't go out in the communities and riot. I don't pose a, a hate crime threat to anybody on any level. You know? And it doesn't even matter if somebody has a different opinion than me. We They've completely demolished democracy. If you can put a restrainer on my free speech for five years, but only put a restrainer on some guy uh, that raped somebody for six months, it's a case called uh, Rebecca Johnson versus um, a guy named Young. His last name is Young. And that case was yesterday in Dan Walk's office in his court that went on Zoom so everybody can see it. On YouTube you know and the type of scenarios that he's creating in his court is geared towards the narrative of using codes to be harassing to me he's a he allowed last week um, or this week I think it was maybe Monday or something Okay, well, what government agency besides cops can I do that? You would have to report it to law enforcement. There's, there's nothing I can do on my end to help you out. Well, you're above law enforcement, and I don't feel safe going to law enforcement for anything. They have violated my rights. They've made it, you know, evident that... They're not ever going to investigate any crimes that have happened to me. They could care less when people try to threaten to stab me at stores and, you know. All of that needs to be reported to law enforcement. 
Sure. Yeah. I apologize, Tanya. But um, if there's, um, you know, I provided you with all the resources I know of. Um, and if you've already reached out to them, I don't know where else I could refer you. Well, you, because you're the victims of crime unit. You know? I mean, all you have to do is go look at my lawsuits and... and Right, but I could send you information, and you could then, then you could go. And why is that? Right, but I'm a survivor of rape and incest rape, domestic violence and police brutality. Those are all criminal. Yeah, I I have I have the reports of all of this stuff. That's why I have PTSD. That's why I have disability. Is because I have a paper trail ten thousand miles long that I could send you. Why couldn't you take it when I'm I'm saying that I need somebody to go over the head of law enforcement that are um, committing misconduct crimes? And, and not including me in their mission statement to protect and serve, to which my tax dollar funds. I understand your frustration, but I wouldn't be able to assist you with that. Wow, okay. So, yeah, so I'm documenting the fact that you're not helping me and and everything, and, and that's not an issue for your, your DA's office. I've offered to give you... I've offered to send information to you so that you could help me because I know that you guys get awards every year for helping people that are survivors of crime, that are survivors of rape and incest rape and domestic violence. And <laughs> the civil matters. Right. Okay, and I'm speaking with Angelica. Have a good day. Yeah. Okay, and there's nobody else there that I can talk to you about this that would help me. No, not at this moment. Were there would there be another moment? Yes, you can call on Tuesday. Actually, we are closed on Monday. Okay, great. Thank you.